This video will cover section views. A 2D section view is very similar in concept to the section views that are created with 3D models and assemblies. This view will result in showing the inside features of the part or assembly. Click on a view to select it. There will be a blue bounding box around the view. Sketch a line or a series of continuous lines on the view that go through the part. The lines can be sketched outside of the bounding box. When this happens, the bounding box will automatically enlarge to encompass the entire sketch figure. This line will be referred to as your section line. After your section line is sketched, if it is created with more than one line segment, the segment of the line that you choose will provide the perpendicular angle for the section view. This section line is composed of two lines, the horizontal line and the angled line. The mouse is currently hovering over the angled line and is denoted by that line being red. If this angled line is selected, the section view will be perpendicular to this line. This newly created section line can be moved to a new location, but by default it will be perpendicularly aligned. If you want to delete the section view, click on the section line and delete it. Since the section line is deleted, the section view will also be deleted. If the part is sectioned in the wrong direction, right-click on the newly created section view and choose Reverse Section View. The material that the part is created with will be used for the pattern material. Change Crosshatch. To change the crosshatch pattern of a part, right-click on the section view lines in the workspace and select Change Crosshatch. If you have an assembly in the Drawing Explorer, right-click on the part in the view and select Change Crosshatch. If parts are intersecting with other parts, the parts will have different crosshatching. If multiple instances of the same part are in the assembly, each one will also have unique crosshatching by default. Do not section. Sometimes when an assembly has been sectioned, it is not always desirable to section all of the parts or entire subassemblies, such as nuts, bolts, and screws. After a section view has been created in the Drawing Explorer, browse to the location of the part or subassembly you do not want to section. Right click on the item, select Do Not Section, and the item will not be sectioned. If you selected the wrong item, or if you change your mind and decide to section the item after all, right click on the part or subassembly in the Drawing Explorer and uncheck Do Not Section. This video covered section views. A 2D section view is very similar in concept to the section views that are created with 3D models and assemblies. This view will show the inside features of a part or assembly.